Good day to everyone. I am Arshal Shad Ablagon and together with me is Reagen alias Paula Isabel Antay, Pauline Babe, and Jillian Marie Barredo. And today we are honored to present to you our research entitled Lived Experience of Filipino Nurses in Global Diaspora. To provide a brief background of our study, understanding the transitions and challenges faced by Filipino nurses working across continents is essential. For enriching education by fostering cultural competence, ethical awareness, global perspectives, and empathy among students. These insights highlight the value of labor diversity in healthcare, improving patient care, and problem-solving skills through diverse themes. This study aimed to explore the lived experience of Filipino nurses in global diaspora. This study employs a qualitative phenomenological research design to explore the lived experience of Filipino nurses in global diaspora. Yeah. Phenomenology, as defined by Van Manen, aims to understand individuals' experiences and what it means to exist in the world. The researchers delve into participants' narratives to uncover meaningful themes and insights. The data was collected through semi-structured interviews allowing for in-depth descriptions of phenomena. This approach is fitting for capturing the diverse experiences of Filipino nurses working abroad. The participants of the study are eight Filipino registered nurses who are currently working abroad. The participants for the study were selected utilizing a purposive sampling method based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria provided. For the inclusion criteria, a Filipino registered nurse, male or female, age range between 25 to 55 years old, either single or married, currently residing outside of the Philippines, have at least one year of experience working in a hospital abroad and currently working as a nurse. Well, for the exclusion criteria, a nurse in the Philippines have less than one year of work experience and is not working as a nurse abroad. The instrument used during the data gathering procedure was a semi-structured interview guide. The semi-structured interview guide was evaluated by the guidance counselor of the university before being used during the data gathering procedure. The interview guide involves three parts. The first part of the interview guide consists of questions regarding the social demographic profile of the participants of the study, while the second part includes the general question followed by probing questions in the third part of the instrument. Under the theme of migration forces among Filipino nurses abroad, several sub-themes have emerged. Firstly, underappreciated nurses in the Philippines highlights the disparity in the workload and compensation between the Philippines and abroad, emphasizing the need for fair acknowledgement and compensation. Secondly, uncompensated work in the Philippines underscores the importance of equitable compensation and benefits in motivating migration. Lastly, increased demand for Filipino nurses abroad reflects the global recognition of Filipino nurses for delivering high-quality care, leading to ample employment opportunities and professional growth. These sub-teams capture the complex push and pull factors driving Filipino nurses to seek opportunities abroad, shaping the landscape of global nursing. The theme of adapting to global nursing encompasses several sub-themes identified through qualitative data analysis. Firstly, examining the impact of cultural shock on Filipino nurses abroad, requiring adaptation to new cultural norms and interactions with colleagues from diverse backgrounds. Secondly, addressing language barriers pose challenges to effective communication, necessitating adjustments to local slang and accents. Thirdly, integrating new equipment in nur nursing practice overseas presents initial difficulties but is ultimately overcome through experience and training. Lastly, highlighting the role of training programs for Filipino nurses abroad is essential in facilitating the adaptation of Filipino nurses to nursing practice in their host countries, providing continuous education and skill development opportunities. Overall, adapting to global nursing involves navigating various challenges and opportunities for growth in a new healthcare environment. From the theme of global healthcare contrast, various sub-themes emerge. Firstly, Filipino nurses note the distinctions between the quality of DSN programs in the Philippines and abroad, emphasizing that the former provided more extensive hands-on experiences, surpassing nursing programs abroad. Secondly, Filipino nurses observe differences in healthcare services of hospitals abroad as they are better and provide patients with better access to essential medical resources and technologies compared to those in the Philippines. Lastly, Filipino nurses highlighted the disparities in healthcare fees noting that some countries abroad implement government-funded health insurance, ensuring more equitable access to medical services for their citizens. The findings highlight the healthcare disparities between the Philippines and other countries, encompassing variations in nursing education quality, healthcare services, and healthcare fees. Theme 4 of the study focuses on the patient-centered practice of Filipino nurses abroad. 
Filipino nurses abroad exhibit autonomy in decision-making and patient management contrasting with a more hierarchical approach in the Philippines. Additionally, Filipino nurses demonstrate resourcefulness and adaptability in dealing with challenges, utilizing self-care practices and collaboration within the healthcare system. Their ingenuity is recognized for making the most of limited resources. Moreover, compassion is identified as a significant trait among Filipino nurses who treat patients with dedication and empathy. They communicate effectively, provide health education, and are described as treating patients as if they were their own family members, distinguishing them in the global healthcare workforce. These findings emphasize the importance of autonomy, ingenuity, and compassion in the nursing practice of Filipino nurses abroad, contributing to patient-centered care and positive outcomes. Filipino nurses pursue better economic opportunities abroad due to underappreciation, uncompensated work, and global demand. Despite facing challenges and adapting to new cultures and, and technologies, they overcome them through training. Disparities exist between healthcare in the Philippines and abroad, including education quality and patient access. Moreover, Filipino nurses demonstrate autonomy and compassion in patient care, highlighting their adaptability and commitment. Overall, their experiences underscore their confidence and significant contributions in global healthcare. For our recommendations for Philippine policy to prioritize research to enhance nursing retention strategies. For Filipino nurses working abroad, advocate for policies addressing underappreciation and inadequate compensation. For nursing schools and institutions, is to continuously improve curriculum and training, align education with international standards. For nursing students, understand global nursing dynamics, recognize push and pull factors, and excel in education. For family members, provide emotional support, acknowledge sacrifices, and advocate for fair treatment. For future researchers is to investigate reasons driving Filipino nurses abroad. To access or reference us, you may scan the QR code on our poster. And with that, we have reached the end of our presentation on our study entitled Lived Experience of Filipino Nurses in Global Diaspora. Thank you all for your time and attention. We wish you a pleasant day.